Thank you, Tony. Well, then he feel that Sugar Ray Leonard has the skill, the ability ultimately to become the welterweight champion of the world. And you see him there, not quite as he was at Montreal during the Olympic Games because he has developed so in the chest and shoulders as they take the green robe off him. He wasn't nearly that big, not in terms of weight, but muscular development at Montreal. And he is ready for his opponent tonight, Angelo Dundee, of course, handling the boxing future at the professional level for Sugar Ray Leonard. The opponent tonight, quite frankly, oh, there's his son on his sock. And of course, Sugar Ray is a man who believes in symbols and signs like those. He had a dollar sign on his robe tonight, several of them, because he felt it was funny to show the people of Vegas who were so concerned with gambling dollars that he was aware of where he was. And that's the opponent, Augustin Estrada, Mexican fighter. Quite frankly, a journeyman, but capable of being the spoiler, a testing step in the developing career of Sugar Ray Leonard. Estrada, like all of the Mexican fighters we have seen throughout the many Olympiads we have covered, very tough to knock out, very tough. Great stamina, great durability. Estrada weighed in at 139, Sugar Ray at 145. Now here in Nevada for this fight, we are boxing under Nevada rules, the five-point must system of scoring. The three knockdown rule has been waived. Mandatory eight count. No saving by the bell. Sugar Ray has just been introduced to the crowd. We have a packed house here tonight. Absolutely packed. And the place is littered, literally littered with celebrities. At ringside, Rod Steiger, Bill Cosby, Muhammad Ali. One can see them one after another as the instructions are now given. The referee will be Joey Jammer, veteran referee. No voice in the scoring. The judges, Art Lurie, Harold Buck, and Steve Moretti. They're all seasoned officials. They are the ones who will vote. The ring size, 20 feet, big size ring. Should be very helpful to Sugar Ray Leonard, to anybody with his speed of feet and speed of hands. The bell for round one, the action begins. As you watch Sugar Ray Leonard, one of the things to look for, the ability suddenly to burst with a right lead. Southpaw fashion. Stunningly effective blow in his last fight against tough Frankie Sandor, who unfortunately in the second round damaged an ankle torn liniment. And after that, Sugar Ray cleaned up on it. Taking nothing away from Sugar Ray in that bout, though, he looked great. Quick flashing left. It is the whole plan by Dundee and the development of Leonard to make the right match for him at the right time in the right stage of his development, which is, of course, the test of a good manager or trainer. Justin Estrada to the right of your screen. Sugar Ray now to the right of your screen. Sugar Ray looking for opportunity to display the left and the combination. Faking a bolo punch with the right. Little mannerism of his. Often you'll see him looking like Ali, occasionally doing the shuffle. The minute he sees Estrada's left go down, he'll hit with the right lead. Another of Ali's talents when Ali was younger, the right lead being one of his great blows. But right now, Sugar Ray leading with the left. First round action. This is a scheduled eighth round. Sugar Ray in four previous fights has scored two knockouts and two decisions. Chris Schenkel, of course, with me at ringside. He'll be calling the Jerry Quarry Lorenzo Zanon fight point. Sugar Ray excites the crowd. in Montreal, that whole remarkable American boxing team lived virtually in one room. And the core, as I said earlier, of their spirit. 
was this young fighter. Sugar Ray Leonard will land to left in that exchange. Counting down to the end of round one. And to so quick. Rada must not keep his hands low. Picking up his band. Bell has just sounded for the start of round two. Clearly Sugar Ray Leonard had the first round. In terms of points, five-point must system. Sugar Ray in the red trunks with the white stripes. And in the purple trunks, Augustin Estrada, the opponent from Mexico. Sugar Ray will give nothing away, not if he can help it. He'll fight cautiously. He'll use the head fakes like that. Look for his opportunity to score. In and out, as you just saw. Trying to rough him up on the inside will be Estrada. But with Leonard, it can be a dangerous tactic. Strada will also try to go to the midsection. The thing about Estrada, whom I described as a journeyman, is he is capable upon occasion of an exceptional fight. Such was the case when he beat the highly ranked and highly regarded Termite Watkins in San Antonio. Termite Watkins, Damon Runyon-esque expression. So far, just a cautious boxing contest. Sugar Ray fights in flurries, and you can sense the crowd waiting for the first succession of blows that will come in those swift combinations. But Estrada working inside, and a tough little cookie. There are the quick hands of Leonard. Coming up to the two-minute mark in the round. Minute left to go, and this is the second round of a scheduled eight rounds. Fighters, of course, wearing eight-ounce gloves. The ring, as I mentioned, is 20 feet, which is a good-sized ring. And right there, you saw Sugar Ray getting the left in, followed by the right. We often use the word combination. It's not, in technical boxing terms, merely the landing of a left and right in combination. The real combination is the landing of the two blows to a designated area, the area you're really aiming for, in order to render maximum punishment to the opponent. Twenty seconds left in round two. We're live from Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the first of three bouts. Sugar Ray Leonard scoring repeatedly with those quick hands to Estrada's face. Second round end coming up. The start of round three. So far, no knockdowns. No telling punches, but Sugar Ray giving a boxing lesson with his tremendous hand and foot speed to Augustin Estrada. So far, third round action. It's a little bit the way Sugar Ray fought at Montreal. Didn't know much about the opponent, had to be cautious, felt his way through the three rounds, which is Olympic boxing. Almost off balance there as Estrada pursued it. Strada constantly trying to force the battle inside. Register punishment up close. Leonard wanting to keep the opponent away, keep dancing, use that flicking left, which comes so quickly, following it up with right. He has yet to use the right lead I talked about at the start of the bout. Hasn't found the right opportunity. Remarkably poised young man. Proved it in especially one way at Montreal. Every man he fought was a southpaw, and that's tough. Southpaws find it hard to even get professional fights in this country. And yet, he developed a style that beat them all. Stayed out of the range on the far side of the right foot so the southpaw could never land with his great strength, which of course is the left hand. This young man is boxing wise for 22, amazingly so. Him try and stay away, keep his distance, and score. 
Wild right missed by a strut. We have come to have great respect for the Mexican fighters in the lower weight classification through the years. We saw one of them win a disputed gold medal contest against Al Robinson in the 68 Olympics in Mexico City, Antonio Roldan in the featherweight classification. So many have been like Antonio. Durable, capable of absorbing all kinds of punishment and always coming on. Sugar Ray has yet to go eight rounds. Sugar Ray now with the first flurry, sensing the opportunity as Estrada felt he was getting to Sugar Ray on the inside. So quickly, Estrada goes back to the tactics of the hands up before the face. Defensing Sugar Ray from outside. Fifteen seconds left, and this is the third round. Sugar backing off, almost slipping, almost losing balance. The end of the round coming up. All right, we're going to sit at ringside. There's Jimmy Young waiting in his dressing room. That young man will astonish you with his sensibility. Sensibility, I mean a sense of who he is, where he's at. Tommy Lasorda, one of the many celebrities here. The manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers. The doughty little southpaw of the past. Bill Cosby here, too, at ringside. Two of so many who are here. Because in truth, young against naught is about the best bout you could have in this country unless you had Ali fighting either of them. The very great actor, Rod Steiger, right there. And the crowd rising now, cheering somebody coming in whom we can't, oh, it's Red Fox. Red Fox, whom you see on ABC. Good to have you with us, Red. As the bell rings for the start of round four. Tough to knock out a guy like Estrada. Maybe not so tough to outpoint him. A lot of scar tissue on his face. He's been cut many times. But so far, Sugar Ray has not been able to cut him. If they come from Mexico, they have a way of steadily coming at you. No matter the blows, they keep coming at you. Remember a couple of months back when we did Estrada against Rodriguez in San Juan, Puerto Rico? I mean, uh, Escalera against Rodriguez? Rodriguez did nothing for eight rounds. By the end of the fight, he had Fredo Escalera stumbling, holding on. Sugar Ray Leonard, the right of your screen. Augustin Estrada in the purple trunk. To the left of your screen. Minute 20 seconds into the fourth round. No question that thus far, Sugar Ray has dominated the bout. In a point sense, boxing sense. We're on the five-point must system here in Las Vegas. Three officials score the fight. The referee commands the fight within the ring. Has no voice in the score. Referee is Joey Chandler. Not finding it, perhaps as easy as he thought. Completely dominant. Strada there with a couple of rights. Strada with a right lead. down to the end of round four. 
Sugar Ray is finding it tough to get the kind of good, clean shot at Estrada that he wants. Now working to the midsection. Coming up, the end of round four. Fifth round action, live, Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada, Sugar Ray Leonard. At 145 against Augustin Estrada of Mexico at 139. First four rounds dominated in a boxing sense by Sugar Ray Leonard. But still, Sugar Ray unable against this tough Mexican opponent to get the kind of clean shots he wants. There's been one typical Sugar Ray flurry. But Estrada was not hurt, not even resemble a man going down. There have been no knockdowns in the fight. Feature thus far the quickness of Leonard's hands and the determination of Augustin Estrada. You see that quick left getting in there. Estrada not scoring. Punching away, but not really scoring. Keeps those gloves up. Tucks everything in, as it were. We're a minute into the fifth round. See those quick hands get in there? A couple of blows didn't. A couple were picked off by Estrada, but some got in. That left got in, and then the right. Late in the fourth round, Sugar Ray started to go down to the midsection, hoping to draw down the guard of Estrada, which has been effective with those gloves couched in front of his face. Estrada has, from time to time, tried to go to the midsection, too. What we have to look for here is whether Sugar Ray's strength X has not had to go eight rounds yet. Frankie Santor was a scheduled eight rounder, but it didn't go that long. Estrada just got in a left, and a left and a right to Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray fights back. We've seen Sugar Ray hurt. He was hurt at Montreal by Valery Limitov of the Soviet Union. Not hurt by his Cuban opponent in the finals, Andres Andam who was a very good fighter, by the way. What you have to remember is, Soviet and Eastern European so-called amateur fighters and the Cubans for that matter. Look at that! There's a quick tip of Sugar Ray Flurry! Those so-called amateur fighters I just mentioned are almost professional in caliber in American, in American. Sugar Ray says they're professional. Sugar Ray's scoring well now. In this, the fifth round. keeps fighting back, though pinioned against the rope. As you can see, we're counting down to the end of the fifth round. Oh! He got him into the midsection, and suddenly Estrada went down. Sugar Ray Leonard, who can fool you with his punching power. The count. And the bell for the end of the round with Estrada on his feet. Quickly, let's look at the knockdown punch again. Estrada against the ropes. He had been fighting back, though pinioned against there. Sugar Ray with that left into the midsection. And that was the blow. Estrada went down. Perhaps another angle. Yes, here. As you watch Sugar Ray, in came the left. And that was it for Estrada. He was knocked down at ringside, as I mentioned before. Muhammad Ali, still the heavyweight champion of the world. Having a little bite. Kenny Norton, who's well aware of his challenge tonight in his dressing room. And Jimmy Young, the hands now being bandaged well aware of his challenge tonight in his dressing room. Looks a little languid, doesn't he? But as I said, he knows where he's at. The mouthpiece goes into Estrada. We have had one knockdown in the fight. You just saw it at the close of the fifth round. A left to the midsection did the job by that young man, Sugar Ray Leonard, who has the look of a beautiful young fighter. And quickly, he sped across the ring to get at Estrada. Combination, one after another. The hand and foot speed, wanting to put an end to it. Sensing what he sent so often with his consecutive victories at Montreal. Sugar Ray Leonard drawing a crowd reaction instantly with that speed across the ring to get at the opponent. But the opponent remains standing. This is sixth round action. Sugar Ray Leonard dominant in the fight. 
with one knockdown scored at the end of the fifth round. Punishing left to the midsection. Now, seeing that he couldn't put the opponent away, getting cautious, the wise thing to do. Couldn't have a better teacher than Angie Dundee, nor a better trainer than Dave Jacobs, who's been with him from the beginning. Don't leave yourself open. When the opponent's in trouble, if you find that somehow he's putting it together, that he's tough to get away, just fight your fight. Look for the next opportunity. Look at Estrada there with a left and a right. This is a good developing fight for Sugar Ray Leonard, developing in terms of developing his career. consecutive professional victory his third knockout what Gustin Estrada gave it a shot but he wasn't able to do anything about Sugar Ray this is the final flurry Estrada quite frankly at this point had had enough you see him staggered combinations of Leonard coming some landing some missing but finally Estrada went down let's look at it from another angle now watch the left the right Strada trying to cover up. Sugar Ray going with a right to the belly, a left that was picked off, a right to the belly, then a left to the head, then a right, then missing. But Sugar Ray sensing he had the opponent, who seemed to have had quite enough at this point. And finally, Estrada went down on that left knee. And that was it. Sugar Ray Leonard, the winner, by a knockout Ladies in and the gentlemen, sixth round. The time, one minute, 54 seconds of the sixth round. The winner, Sugar Ray Leonard. A minute 54 for the fleet young Olympic champion in the light welterweight classification. And we'll be back at Caesars Palace in a moment. Okay, we're with the young man who so shone at Montreal and who scintillated tonight with a sixth round knockout of Augustin Estrada. But he was a little tougher perhaps than you thought. Well, how I knew I anticipated a tough fight. The Mexican was a tough, rugged. They gave me another class of learning professional fights. What do you feel you learned tonight? I learned that body shots mean a great deal in professional boxing. And uh, I also learned that you didn't get the gloves I promised you last time, and these are for you. Well, you're very kind. But you learned that body shots is so important because it was your left to the belly in the fifth that first put him down. Yeah, body shots are very important, Howard. I'm learning a great deal from Angelo, David Jacobs, and, of course, Jenks Morton. Okay, congratulations to you. Thanks. You also proved you could go six and still knock a guy out, and you were ready to go eight. That was apparent. Did Good you... luck to you. Thanks, Al. Shortly, ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Quarry will be making his comeback in a 10-round heavyweight bout against Italian Lorenzo Zenon. We'll be back with more of this exclusive ABC Sports presentation after this from our local stations. Sunday, smuggle diamonds and beautiful girls.